All right, so moving on to the um, items that we are looking at. Um, so what you were saying about using uh, older, um, I, uh, older newspapers, that's actually part of it as well. Um, during one of the, the courses where we worked with students in Arizona, um, uh, we were doing some live edits of, of, of new, uh, uh, both historic figures and newspapers since it was mixed with something Africa was doing. And um, we found uh, a very well-known journalist, but their um, newspaper was included in the, you know, in the information online. So we were able to do that right then. Um, hi, Richard. I'm going to jump right over to the project and share the screen. So if you'll bear with me for one moment. Okay, hopefully you're you're seeing the Wiki Project newspaper right now, right? Yep. Okay, so this is the, the list that we're working with. And um, as you can see, many of the islands don't have um, even the list. So that's one basic way to, to help with the project and to add, you know, useful information that could be useful um, in general for editors. Um, yesterday, we focused on Jamaica, for example, and uh, let's just go right there. And we see we've made some headway because when we started, it only had um, this one right here. So now we have quite a few and actually one of them, um, I believe it was the Gleaner. There's been more information added there. Um, and I believe there's one other one that is now blue that wasn't yesterday. I'll have to check the, the editing to see which one it was because it doesn't cross me right now. But um, I'm just going to jump in so you can see some of the draft information. I know Pete was working on this one, and you can take a look at some of the information that's just added. So just in drafts, you can get an idea um, here. Um, it's heavily focused on, you know, what's the information that could be useful to improve information um, the the basic knowledge about the newspaper. We're looking for things like circulation, for example, any awards that can add to um, you know how we know uh, it's looked at in the in the um, uh, the the uh, news publishing community. Also, any uh, major stories. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I would love to uh, actually talk a little bit about this one because I I ran into some things that I that are kind of typical of what I've run into with some newspapers, but it was like, you know, I think a little clearer with this, you know, I was thinking about doing a screencast just based on this particular draft, and maybe I could kind of talk you guys through some of the things that I found. Sure. Um, cool. Um, it's, uh, so this one is uh, the, the Jamaica Star, I, the first thing, so I was looking at, I was looking at, um, newspaper databases through my library kind of as the main, you know, that's often my main uh, sort of first line of attack is I can log into my library account and, and look up newspapers. And so I found, um, you know, 30,000 or so articles that mentioned the Jamaica Star. And I think the word newspaper as well, because you want to, you know, weed out as many as you can yeah. of the articles that are like Jamaica's star rugby player or whatever, you know. Um, but then, you know, 29,000 of the 30,000 were from the Jamaica Star itself. So my library archives the Jamaica Star itself. So that's, you know, that's good, but it's not really useful as far as having independent coverage. So I ruled out all the, the papers that are based in Jamaica. I couldn't find a way to easily just rule out just that one specific paper. Um, and then I, I found a bunch of others. And what you can see here is like a whole bunch of statements you know it was sort of painstaking work of like you know i'm trying to demonstrate that other newspapers regard the jamaica star as a serious newspaper but it's like sort of indirectly it's like because they refer to the J jamaica star as being the one to have first reported something you know so i'm just kind of gathering quotes um you know this thing about kanye west this thing about the um you know, a, a story that was picked up by the Washington Post and then some other papers and a lot of stuff about like music and and uh, sports and things like that. And then, uh, and so, I, you know, at that point, 
I'm looking at this like, oh, this is going to be a really difficult article to write. Like it's, it may be possible to make that case, but it's really a roundabout way of demonstrating it. And I'm not finding any articles that are really about the Jamaica star itself. But then I had a little bit of a breakthrough. And I think this is something that could help out with other newspapers from the Caribbean um, is I searched on the internet archive. Actually, I actually my clue was in um, there was like an earlier comment about this. Some other Wikipedia user had had mentioned, I think, on the list page uh, some years ago, had mentioned a book. I think it's called Media of the Caribbean or Mass Media of the Caribbean or something like that. And so I searched on the Internet Archive and I found that that's a book from I think 1990 or something that is available for free checkout through the Internet Archive. And I went there and then I found like there's, it actually has a section about the Jamaica Star. It's an offshoot of the Jamaica Clean Gleaner. And I think coupled with all of this other stuff, that's going to be, you know, that's sort of the thing that can anchor it, I think, as far as notability. Like there's, you know, there's several paragraphs specifically about this newspaper and then all this other stuff that was going to be kind of iffy as far as establishing notability. Well, if it's secondary to that one thing, that becomes much more doable. So there's still kind of work to be done to work this mm -hmm. into an article, but I feel like I kind of had a breakthrough um, that'll make it possible. And that source, that book is gonna be a really useful source, I think for a lot of other newspapers as well. Thank you. Thanks for, um, uh, you know, uh, talking about your process because, um, you know, the different angles to go at, at, at locating the information but um, you know, it's always helpful when you find, a, uh, for example, a database like you were talking about um, through your library. Um, we were just talking about the um, the Digital Library of the Caribbean and other books that that can help you know um, fish out the information that could be be helpful and and useful. Um, and I also want to point down here to some of the um, reference items. Did you want to speak any? Uh, any more to the reference items that you have here as well? Um, well, I think you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Like every one of those except for, <laughs> like which one is the book is, um, do, 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 um, where's the mass media of the Caribbean? Why am I not seeing it? Did I not, you know, it's possible I didn't actually add that as a reference yet because I was going to, I think I was wanting to add that as part of recording a screencast so I could kind of show that piece of Probably. it. So I just, I found it mm -hmm. and I guess I stopped short of actually doing, this was a few days ago. I, I guess I stopped short of actually doing anything. So all the references that you see listed here and you can see like there's a wide variety of them. Um, you know, the Gay City News, like a New York gay publication uh, talks about so, like some gay bashing in Jamaica that was covered by the Jamaica Star, you know, the New York Times. So you've got a really serious newspaper, but it's kind of a minor mention. Um, mm -hmm. So like, I think there's, there's a strength here in that we have a lot of different newspapers, but no one of these is about the Jamaica Star itself. They're just saying like someone told the, the Jamaica Star or something or something was reported in the Jamaica Star. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, all right, so now you get an idea of, of what the process could be. Um, and also I'm going back here to the list. Um, and if during this hour long, you know, office hour type uh, meet, gathering, uh, we can talk um, about, you know, um, you know, the project, we can talk specifically about the newspapers and the process and, and what we're looking for. Um, and also something that we were, uh, did yesterday was we were able to do some editing, which is add, um, at minimum, add the listing for each of the items. I'm going to go to Trinidad because we have, um, uh, we have Ian here today. And I'm kind of curious what you think about the list here. Um, so we've got a mixture of, of some newspapers that are online as well as, as um, bricks and mortar newspapers that are, you know, in print. And so um, I'm just kind of curious if you see anything here that may be missing just for offhand. I don't want to put you too much on the spot. Um, but also, what do you think of what's there? And do you, um, do you see anything that's new 
looks like perhaps it doesn't belong there even. So I'm actually not familiar with the Trinidad Times or the Trinidad Tribune, so I can't say there. I just added the mirror and the bomb, which were two uh, very tabloid. Uh, no, the, the, the bomb and the TNT mirror. Mm -hmm. Those two, I just added them to the list, um, thinking about that, you know, they're, oh, they're not high, they were never high quality. They were very sort of mass market tabloidy um, scandal, sort of yellow, yellow journalism, but they were uh, important and probably notable. Um, and then as, as I mentioned at the start, before I started recording, there are a couple of historic newspapers, most notably the Port of Spain Gazette, which was a uh, leading newspaper in the 19th and early 20th century. So there are things to, to definitely add to that. Um, I was actually, I was, my, my train of thought <laughs> took me away and I was actually about to add it myself. <laughs> but um, okay, so, so something that, that would be good to think about maybe for us, um, just in practice in general, is I want, is, um, it would, would be worthwhile to differentiate between items that are um, more recent versus items, for example, in the 20th century versus in the 21st. Um, or, um, for example, another separation is online media versus, um, you know, um, it, bricks and mortar media or uh, print media. Um, I mean, they're all print media, but um, well, no, you know what wired, I mean? Yeah, I so suppose Wired 868 and Loop are online only. Um, right. Although I believe Wired 868 is linked to, to larger, well, both of them are linked to larger um, news sources. You know, I think a, an important thing to do uh, at this stage too, and maybe you've already done it for Trinidad and Tobago, I don't know, but um, is is kind of go through and look for like the like loop is one that really stands out to me like is that actually an article about the newspaper or is that just going to the article about the word loop um you know it's sort of figure out if there's disambiguation that needs to be yeah see so like maybe changing that to a direct link uh, figure out if there is an article about the newspaper and if there's not maybe changing it to a red link like loop newspaper or loop Trin trinidad and tobago that's a very good point yeah i think um that's another that's another um, thing to do as well um, during this time, just to go through and see, okay, you know what where the links are actually going, since um, they're generally linked um, with brackets uh, and so forth. So, so this is the this is what we're working with, and um, we've got about half an hour. Well, we've got about forty minutes left in the time, and um, and uh, unless Let's see if we have, I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. And um, uh, Richard, you were here yesterday. I'm curious if there's any portion of the list that you thought would be useful to focus on or if there was another part of the project, for example, black owned newspapers or Washington that you were interested in as well, or if you had anything to bring up from yesterday. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I just, um, I guess I'd share the only thing that I was really able to accomplish yesterday is uh, shortly after the call, I started the Wikidata item for the uh, Tolobin Publishing Company. Oh, nice, yeah, yeah. Seattle. Um, I was thinking, and I made, I, and I linked, created that and I linked it to the, um, there's an item for the Seattle Medium. So, I mean, of course the Seattle Medium has an article, the other newspapers it owns doesn't have, don't have articles. Um, mm -hmm. I was thinking, I mean, it, some of these things might be, it might be hard to write a Wikipedia article about, um, the one from yesterday, I think, was the home, the homemaker, the Metro homemaker. Um, but it might make yeah, sense to, to, it might make sense to make an article on the publishing company, or you'd possibly even just do it on the the big newspaper which they have, which is the medium. I mean, we just have like sister papers or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I, you just, know, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I, just, I mean, it, it it might make sense to just work on these some of these Wikidata items and then think about where. Um, where the articles can go, and some of them might have to be merged. At least, at least for this one, it looks like it looks like they might have to be merged. There was very little about the Home Star per se. Uh, there was a bit about the company, and they have I think they have like five or so different newspapers. The Medium is definitely notable on its own, but the other ones might not be. Oh, that's awesome! I think, yeah. yeah, I think something that 
I don't think we've particularly done in this project too much in this phase anyway, um, that can be super, super useful too, is like to kind of take those, um, those judgments of whether something is likely to be notable or not and annotate the lists with it. You know, like if you, if you try to write an article about that, I don't know what this, the homemaker is, but like if, you know, if something is in our list and you do a bunch of research, like let's say if I, research the county chronicle and i find that like really nobody's ever written about it you know it's only been around for a couple of years and it's it, it seems very unlikely that we're going to be able to find something else then just editing this maybe putting a link to the one or two things you do find and putting a note next to it says that says likely not up to wikipedia's notability standards or even you know a separate list like i think on this page we actually have yeah it may not be notable so like we've moved i guess it, i guess there's only one thing but you know, like moving things into another place so that other people, you know, so that as we go yeah. along, or maybe I'll just put a link toward the the publishing company, which is is probably yeah, more yeah, just whatever information you do come up with. If it's not enough to start an article, then parking it here on this page sort of makes it possible to kind of you know get better about <laughs> our priorities <laughs> and focus on the ones that are notable. Yeah, and um, and I just want to quickly um talk about uh, the Digital Library of the Caribbean. Um, the, let me see if I have it here to show you. Um, so the Digital Library of the Caribbean, um, they are a group that we were actually, as a Wiki Caribbean group, was actually gonna work with um, during a conference we were trying to put together uh, before the pandemic hit. And they're also a great resource so um, I've connected with them to see if we can use their newspaper um, library, um, because that's something that, that you can do with, um, uh, with membership through them, but it may be possible for at least a short period of time to use it. I just wanna show you where it is um, briefly. Um, uh, let me see if I can share, it's telling me. Oh, I can't I'm still sharing, I'm sorry. Sorry, oh, no worries. Yeah. Well, just briefly, I just want to show it to you because I think what they have is amazing because it's um, widely available. Uh, and so here on their page, they have, uh, let me get down here. All right. Um, and so they have um, a newspaper. Let me shut down my awesome. stuff so you can see that. Okay, so they have a newspaper digital library of the Caribbean. Um, you can do a newspaper search. And on top of that, um, they have sub collections like this one right here. And um, so I've contacted them to see if we can get some permission to use it. So I will circle back Fabulous. to let you know what they return with, but that, that would be a great resource because um, you know, they're, they're pretty wide collection very uh, targeted. All right, so now we are at the half hour, um, the last half hour. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. Um, I don't know if any of you want to, um, I'm just gonna put the link for everything in the chat. And uh, I think it worked well yesterday for everyone, for people to adopt sections or specific papers or whatnot. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this in the chat and it's the actual address of the list, but I'm also going to show you how to find this because we are both on, on Wikipedia as well as on Meta. So let me just show you where we are and how to get here. Um, so I'm going to just share my screen. Uh, does anyone have any questions right now, by the way? Oh, Ian, I see you want access to, yeah, it would be great if we could get access to the DLOP because um, I, I think it would be very useful. So I'll circle around and let you guys know what happens with that. Okay, so here I go, I'm gonna share. Um, and if you could let me know specifically what you're looking for in it, um, I could also send a targeted email to saying specifically this is what we're looking for as well. So obviously newspapers, but if there's anything else, that you want to search for in there, I can get in touch with our contact there and see what they can do. Hopefully there's still something that's possible. 
Okay. So. Can I just share for a sec, uh, just to? Um, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll circle back to this after. This is, this be a real quick one. Uh huh. Um, I just wanted. Uh, so another thing that I think is really useful to do on our pages is so. You, this is the page with the, of the list of all the Caribbean pages. I put a section at the top, references and source materials. So this is for resources that, that may be useful for many <clears throat> newspapers or many countries, islands. Um, so I have a link to that mass media of the Caribbean here. And then I just added a link to DLOC. So it's in sort of a central oh, place yes, for it's easy to find. And so if we come up with That's more of these, neat. if there are other books or websites or whatever that are useful, we should add them here too. That sounds wonderful, and and I, yeah, that would be very great too. I, I I think I have another few in mind too, um, to add there as well. Um, by the way, I just want to mention that you see we have the Miami Herald, the Washington Post, the New York Times included up there. Um, so obviously these are not newspapers specifically focused only on the Caribbean, but they do have information related to the Caribbean at times as well. So I just wanted to mention that. Okay, and finally, let me just show you what I was showing you a moment ago. All right. Okay, so um, let me just go to Meta and I'll just show you how to find this on here. Meta.wikimedia, sorry. That org. All right. So if you go to um, the main wiki site, um, you'll see, you know, obviously what you normally see. So really, you're just going to look up um, news on wiki. And that leads you here to our main page, where it talks about um, the generalities of the, of the, the project, the campaign. <coughs> And then you would click on present, you know, and here in our listing, you'll see newspapers in the Caribbean. And that's what brings you to this page. So um, one of the better, one of the best ways to find this is through meta, because it leads you to the Wikipedia contents as well. And um, you can also take a look at the, you know, the last cycle of the project uh, in 2018 and um, research the other data, et cetera. Um, but I'm just going to um, scroll, uh, cycle back here to present, which is where we are right now. And then you click here for newspapers of the Caribbean. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put this one more time in the chat. And I think it's stopped sharing. Okay. And here we go. All right. I think we have one more person, uh, uh, Nick from yesterday, maybe joining uh, in a little bit. But uh, in general, I think we, we have everything that we, you know, everyone here um, wanted to talk about. So if anyone does come up with anything while we're editing, though, um, you know, we can definitely go right to it. So one thing that worked out before was people chose, you know, um, an area that they wanted to adopt for the for that time. So I am going to choose Guadeloupe, Martinique, um, and let me go back to over here. And uh, the Barbados. So those are the three areas that I'm adopting for this time. Can I just ask right. real quick if um, do, do, does everyone on this call know how to borrow a book from the Internet Archive? This is something is super super easy to do, and it can be so helpful, like with that um, that mass communications book. Um, I know how, but I, if this is recorded, I think it's worth explaining it because I only discovered that uh, yeah. about a month ago. Okay, cool. So I think their ability to borrow for like fourteen days has been there for a long time. Um, but they, uh, they 
I think it was during COVID that they created this borrow for an hour capability, which is like, to me is just like a whole game changer because it means that stuff is basically available all the time and you just borrow it for the amount of time you need and then return it. And it, you know, you're sort of not in anybody else's way. So especially with a project like this, if only one of us can borrow this particular book at a time, well, at least it's only for an hour increment so we can all kind of share that access. So, you know, the first thing to do is just to create an account on the Internet Archive. So if you go to archive.org, I'm already logged into mine, but, you know, it's like any other website. I'm not going to go into the detail of how to do that. Creating an account is free and easy, um, and it's really worth doing. And then here, actually, I'm going to go just back to um, the main page so I can show you how I found the book. The first thing to do really is find the book, and then, you, and then once you have an account and you're logged in, you can borrow it. So there are two search fields on the main page of archive.org. Most people I think are familiar with the Wayback Machine that lets you look up websites that have maybe gone offline. Um, that's the first search field that you see, but there is just as much, you know, the, just as important and powerful is what I think is kind of the main search, the search of the actual holdings of the internet archive of books. Um, down here. So if I'm going to just search it, so I know that this book exists. So mass communications of the Caribbean. Um, and it's worth, you know, paying attention to this sometimes, like you can do some search for text within the books, usually metadata, you know, searching the titles and authors is what you want to do. But, you know, sometimes you need to play with this a little bit to really narrow, narrow it down to what you're looking for. And there is an advanced search that you can go into as well. But hopefully if I just click go here, it ought to just come right up. Do, do, do. So I need to sing the Jeopardy theme song here. Okay, so there it is, that first one, Mass Communications in the Caribbean. And if I click on the book, it'll give me, you know, without borrowing it, without doing anything in particular, I get a lot of information about the book. When was it scanned? You know, who's the publisher? St metadata about the book. It was published in 1990. What's the topic? Stuff like that. And again, without borrowing it, I can do a little bit of flipping through. I can even look at the first few pages of the book and look at the, the table of contents, stuff like that. But you get to a point, it's a limited preview. It doesn't show you the full text of the book by a long shot. Um, but all I have to do once I'm logged in is click borrow for one hour, or I could, if I know I'm gonna need it for the whole, whole 14 days, I can change that, right? But if I click borrow for an hour, I will suddenly be able to flip through every page, read the entire book right here in my web browser. I think it might even be possible to download a PDF that you can load onto a Kindle or something like that. It's password protected because your borrow only does, la you know, that's how they sort of enforce that the borrow uh, only lasts for a certain amount of time. And, you know, and, and you can just, you can do a search inside the book once you're here. So if I want to look for Jamaica star, I put it in quotes. Um, I think this search actually didn't quite work for me because I think they just refer to it as the star and it's just in the, the section about Jamaica. I don't, I don't think this book actually, so it took a little bit of doing and I think I had to look in the table of contents. But then like once you sort of figure out how the book is structured, it's easy to find it. There's a whole section on Jamaica. There's a whole section on newspapers in Jamaica. And, you know, and then that'll, that'll get you right to it. Um, here, I'll just take out Jamaica just so I can show you what the results look like. Um, it will show you every, like, it, it's a little bit slow, but then it'll show you this, this bar down at the bottom will give you a hash mark for every single page in the book that has star on it. And you can just click on it sort of like a progress bar and then it'll be highlighted on that page. Uh, sometimes it's, I've found this is a little bit inconsistent to use. Sometimes it's not properly highlighted, but for the most part, you know, if you, if you hunt well enough, you'll, you'll find it this way. So, and then when you're done, especially like I said, in a project like this, I'm gonna click return. So now any one of you would be able to borrow that as well. And the way, reason that they're able to do this is because they own a physical copy of the book. So it's legal for them to share one digital copy of it at a time. There's some books where they own several copies. So it is possible for a few people to, to borrow at the same time. So yeah, so that's that. And I'm, I'm that happy to awesome. take questions, but I don't want to take too much time on this either. Yeah. No, this is really valuable information. 
And it, it, even beyond those projects, it's good to be able to know that these resources are available. I think, um, you know, Internet Archive is just with such a wealth of information, but I think people overlook sometimes some of the collections that are available to the public through them um, beyond, you know, the Wayback Machine and, and things like that. Um, weren't they, they were, um, Richard, you're, you're familiar with some of the people at Internet Archive, right? Because I uh, think they've been in on. New York. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, there's someone kind of upstate, but uh, they, who has like a big scanning machine who always invited us out there, but uh, never quite, never quite went up upstate that far. Yeah, their 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 main office is in San Francisco. They've actually got a really cool space. It's an old Masonic temple, so it's got they've they've had a bunch of events there and stuff. And they have actually kind of open. If you're ever in San Francisco on a Friday, at least outside of pandemic times, every Friday they have an open lunch where you can go and talk about the work you're doing, and it's it's really neat. They're a very open organization. That's so cool. Okay, so um. Uh, unless anyone has anything else they want to share, um, uh, you know, um, I think we're we're good to get moving on some of these. Um, so, uh, if you want to, uh, I'm not sure which, which. Do you guys want to mention which ones you want to focus on, or are you just kind of still trying to decide? I think I'm just going to continue with the Jamaica Star. I think rather than working directly on it, I'm going to start sort of lining up the web browser windows that I'm going to want to have available so that I can do an efficient screencast of it. And then probably okay. once we're done with this call, I'll just I'll sort of finish up what I was doing and record it in a screencast. Awesome, awesome. And um, would you mind also, uh, I'm going to put the Internet Archive um, link in the chat as well, just for everyone's use. Great. And um, here it is, archives. It's just archives.org. Um, actually, let me get it, the actual link, the full link is in there. Oh, actually, so I think what you put is archives, which I think is like the US National Archive. It's without an S. Archive.org. Yep. All right. There we go. Okay. Just gonna let it do its thing. Copy and stop. Okay, that's archive.org. And I think I'll put the one for DLOC in there too. And they are on this, uh, yeah, on the Caribbean main list page as well in the references section. Yeah. Okay, and DLOC is literally DLOC.com. I thought they were .org, but they are .com. I guess it makes more sense. <laughs> and finally, I'm going to put a listing that has, um, that's useful for just a listing of newspapers in the Caribbean if you guys want to pull from there. And it has, um, I'm actually going to be working from that to, to move some of the information from there over and it's the final one at the bottom. You know, that reminds me, Sherry, I've been, I've been meaning to ask, um, on this page, on the Caribbean page, and also with the Black Owned Newspapers page, you, you know, you put so many newspapers, like you, you, you gave our list such a strong start, but I'm curious what you found to base that on what you were pulling those from? Were you like sort of going from this a bunch is, of different you know, sources and or what? This is a Google search. It's a general Google search. And so um, since that, I, you know, it's a listing from, from each country. Okay. So like each one, so you did a, a search for like newspapers of Antigua and Barbuda, and then you just man, or maybe not that one, but you, you just manually like wrote in the names of what you found? Um, it's very, um, if you look at that last link I put up, that's a good example of one of them. And it has, okay. Um, oh, okay. it's a, yeah, yeah. So I'm not, it's, 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 you're making it sound like I did more than, than, than you know, uh, but it's, uh, it's a good, it's a listing of what's known. And then obviously from there you can decide whether it's 
you keep it or not, but yeah. Cool. So it's so it's a little of each. It's like somewhat you're leveraging yeah. off of what other sites list, and you're also applying your own judgment of stuff that maybe doesn't need to go in. Um, at this point, it's more listing than it is, you know, because going in is is the next step of the, yeah. you know, okay. and getting more eyes on it. Yeah. So to whittle okay. it down a little bit. Okay. We got about 15 minutes. I think uh, I'm just going to plug right in there. By the way, Richard, it's nice to see you here. I don't think I've seen you on a, on one of our uh, webinars before. Yeah. You know, I came it. yesterday too. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Richard, for yeah. Sure. Okay. Thanks. And Richard is an advisor uh, for a Wiki Caribbean too. Like one of the originators. Martinique really has very few that it there's only four of them. They're the they're the island right next to you can see Martinique from, from Dominica at night. Wow, I didn't realize that. Yeah, there's a place called Scott's Head. You can head over there. Well, it's a it's a what is that? It's a what is it Isthmus or no, is it Isthmus? Anyway. Um, and it's great at night. You can see all the stars out. You can see the Big Dipper. Oh no, the big, the Little Dipper. I think, I think the Big Dipper. I don't know. Is, is there a Little Dipper? I don't even. <laughs> I thought. The, yeah, I'm wondering what's the big one. Little Dipper. Yeah. Yeah. There's. there's, 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 there's yeah. There's Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. I yeah. think only only a New Yorker could. <laughs> could be unaware. You don't get to see so many stars. Yeah, I'm area. sorry. I mean, I guess there's well, the, but the there are, the Ursa Major is a lot more major, right? Yes. Yeah, much more visible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, the, yeah, the size isn't enormously different, but I mean, the, it's more the more obvious of the stars. The, the stars are much brighter. In it's the, the one you would notice casually. Yes. But you can see the Big Dipper from here for sure, from New York. Like if you're really, if you go out. Um, or can you go out? Because sometimes you can see stars. Yeah. Yeah. And the uh, the the Little Dippers, the end of the Little Dippers handle is the North Star. Is it really? Yeah. And the North Star is really Jupiter, right? No, no, the North Star. It's Polaris. It's a it's a star star. It's a star star. Oh, for the longest time I thought it was Jupiter. No, pl planets move too much. But the but most of the brightest stars like you can see in the city are, are planets. Um so that's whatever. They know people. Is that the the stars twinkle, but the planets just shine. Which would you rather be, a star or a planet? I mean stars a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you could like you get planets come with it like i'd be increasingly understand right oh, it's, you get a whole a, host a yeah you can you do get both again, yeah you can do your own fusion okay <laughs> you can do your own fusion it's a great place okay. to be a nuclear scientist huh <laughs> <laughs> i just always thought it was cool that you could see planets from here Oh, and some of these have the same paper, it looks like. Maybe one paper cover is more than one island. It's a little more complicated to find the, the ones in the states that focus specifically on the Caribbean. Yeah. 
Yeah, I really feel like that was such an intriguing idea um, when we started out on this project. And it does seem like it's a little tricky to, to kind of find out, you know, the, like the idea that there are, you know, newspapers specifically for the Caribbean community of oh, there are. cities. But it's, but like, yeah, how do we, that's, I mean, I don't you have know to go a to like way a, to kind of find a good list of that. You have to go to a neighborhood and look at the, the shelf of uh, local newspapers. That's the only way to do it. I mean, yeah. that's how, that's how I'd find them in New York. I don't know how to do it in other places. Yeah. Well, it just would be, I mean, it seems like such a, such a gap on the internet that there's no easy way to, to find that. And I think about, you know, if you're, if you're from an ethnic community and you move to a new city, like it would be, you know, like that would be an important thing like to be able to find I mean I guess you'd you know be able to find by asking around but yeah yeah fun fact my um uh, my mom uh my my family helped uh a Brazil well in our in, in the in Danbury where I grew up in Connecticut at least um there is a newspaper that um started from uh Brazilian immigrants and they were our neighbors and um, she gave them the one of the uh, they gave us credit for helping them get started because my mother or um, helped give her the information that she needed as an immigrant to find her way around. And then I think they're like, you know, there should be some kind of list of this somewhere. And that's how the the newspaper idea came about. Oh, nice! Wow. So, yeah. Well, my mom. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but. It's, but yeah, that's basic, and, and so stuff like that is very like there, there are there are newspapers that that um, that really helped a, a lot of people when when they first come, especially if they don't have this if the language isn't isn't there yet, you yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, where do you you know you look to find a job? You look in the classifieds. You you know you look to yeah yeah. It's, it's a whole yeah big. But it's uh yeah. Um, it's true. It's like, what, how do you find them on the internet, at least, that is um, reliable? Which I suppose is what we're kind of helping with, is to put it somewhere, in a way. Um, well, I'm in Puerto Rico, and there's a lot in Puerto Rico, which is kind of cool. That's the United States, though, basically. Uh, hold on a second here. All righty. There's also circulars like um, El Tiempo. I think things like that might have a hard, harder time with notability because of yeah they're more neighborhood they're not even really they're local 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 yeah uh, where do you think that would fall in because they're circulars they are they have useful information but they're they're very small I mean, I feel like it's I, I feel like it's useful to you know that that's a place where I would say if we can come up with lists of newspapers to put on our wiki project page, mm -hmm. um, I that's kind of how I would handle that. Like you're probably right, we probably would have a hard time establishing notability for a lot of those. You know, I think about there's like you know there's like the the there's a Vietnamese news. Uh, organization in my neighborhood. I'm, I'm almost positive it would be impossible to establish Wikipedia notability for it, but by having that, you know, like by, by sort of starting some notes on our wiki project pages, maybe sometime in the future, it would be possible to have like an article about like the, you know, the ethnic newspapers of New York or the ethnic newspapers of Portland, where like it has an entry for each one of these things, you know, and just at least mentions that it exists like that, that you know, I, I think like any yeah, of this sort of research exists. that helps us get to that would be yeah, um, that it exists at all. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, so we have about seven more minutes. Um, hold on. So, um, so if that's the case, maybe we could do that. Like, uh, we could do it right now. Let's add, add it there. What you just said. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna go to the main page. We got a good. We got a good jump. Mm -hmm. I think Grenada is a good next one. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the main page. And I guess we could put it uh, under the Caribbean project. One second. You get there. I'm acting like you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, let let me just uh, get there and then I'll I'll share. One second. Oh, by the way. Um, uh, I just learned about um, some stuff from Ian. Uh, Ian, are you there? You have stepped away. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Um, is how is there any way to support you with what you're trying to do that you told me about? Um, no, no, that's that's really a well. Honestly, um, I just found a great book in the Internet Archive library so. okay. <laughs> so that's actually very helpful for what i'm trying to do oh good okay good i think i missed the part about what you're doing in uh just getting on a little late and so that means it's not in the recording is do you want to recap that a little bit oh just generally what i'm up to um so i realized in the meet in the time yesterday that i had actually created the articles on the three major newspapers in Trinidad way back in 2005. So I figure I have, um, <laughs> I have cool. a head start there. Yeah. Uh, but I was, I'm actually interested in uh, creating some stuff about historic newspapers. So there's mm -hmm. uh, internet, um, and then as I get thinking, there are all these sort of not quite as historic, like uh, later 20th century things that are significant. And I'm, I strongly suspect they're there's enough out there to um, to establish notability, but I'm I'm you know I haven't really given it much thought. I was I was thinking about the the harder battle to try and get um, to try and get good sources for things like Loop and so on, which exist but nobody writes about them. Um, so it's th that's sort of what I'd what I'm hoping to do in the next I don't know next few weeks, few months. Cool. Very cool. And um, yeah, so that, that's another thing too, is, is uh, uh, adding some of the older papers as well uh, from, from pre 21st century. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. Um, which area did you say you wanted to edit piece that you thought would be a good place to put the differentiation? For the circulars? Um, oh, I see. Um, well, that's a good question. I mean, you know, we could, or like, I think it might be worthwhile. Mm -hmm. are, are you talking about newspapers in New York? Like, maybe we should have a section for like Caribbean focused newspapers in big cities in the US. I don't know. I mean, I guess there are different ways of of of, of organizing something. And another worthwhile mm -hmm. thing too might be to create a Wikidata item, which you don't need as much notability for. Yeah, yeah. Because we were talking about well, um, well, I'm well, I'm I'm just going to go ahead and add it to uh, newspapers, the Wiki Project newspapers page under um, uh, newspapers connected to the Caribbean, mm -hmm. uh, smaller newspapers connected to. Because they're more, they're almost like pamphlets, really, because they're not yeah. very big at all. They're useful like for the or something. New, 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 yeah, newsletters. Uh -huh. So I'll have that there. All right, and I guess I'll do that now.
Okay. It has sort of a funny name, but I, I think at least for now it's there. So, um, all right. So we're in our final uh, couple of minutes. So I'm just going to share screen real quickly. Thank you again for coming to the office hour gathering. I, there should be a better name for it because it's not quite an office hour, but it's not quite a regular um, event meeting, uh, meetup. It's just more like a meetup. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, so this is the page as it stands right now. Um, and again, this is um, if you back up, hopefully it'll let me get back there. You go to Meta, you search for News on Wiki, and you come here. Then you click on Present, and then you click on Newspapers in the Caribbean, since that's the focus. Um, and I'm just going to scroll down. We've added the Digital Library of the Caribbean. Um, we've added, uh, and of course, the Mass Media of the Caribbean is there, too. Um, and Ian, you I think ask, if you said you found a useful book, it might be helpful if you could put a link to that there as well. Yeah, that'd be a good place for it. I'm going to quickly bullet it so that it's prepared for that. Great. There we go. Okay. All right. And down here below the um, uh, North American section and um, those items, we have that. I'm assuming we will change that title to something else, but at least it, it has a place for those smaller immigrant-focused newspapers that, uh, um, that you know, are in major cities that could be useful. Um, I'm going to scroll down. Didn't get to Barbados, but um, we've added to Guadalupe. Um, a little bit more to Jamaica, I think, Martinique, and added to Puerto Rico, which I'm surprised that there's so much in Puerto Rico that it doesn't have its own items. So um, that's definitely an area that, that's probably an easy fix there. And I think that was it for this time. All right, so, um, so now that they are there, you know, if any of you are interested in adopting one or two, <laughs> you know, um, but obviously, uh, at least now they're, they're listed. Um, and, you know, the project continues to try and add even more. And I think from, from our conversation, um, we'll be looking at doing some more in, in the way of um, adding sections that would be useful too, like sections that we talked about where it's only online newspapers versus bricks and mortar and some of the other sections that we, we discussed about immigrants and things like the immigration and tabloids and things like that. So thank you for coming. That's the end of our time. Uh, Ian and Richard, um, you came yesterday too. I know you had to um, step out Ian, but thank you for coming again today. And uh, thank you always, uh, Richard, for your support and for participating today as well. And uh, I'm glad that uh, your roof didn't cave in, Pete. <laughs> yeah. It was a leak earlier. So um, uh, stay healthy, stay safe, and have a wonderful afternoon. Okay. And, and we'll get this Thanks recording up on uh, on YouTube, uh, pretty and and probably on Commons as well. Really. Quick. I edited the uh, the Anguian and um, and I'm pronouncing it wrong, so don't, don't include that part. Um, the the <laughs> thank you. The Anguilla, or Anguilla, uh, the Anguilla newspaper, uh, we did item. So, Excellent. Anguilla. Yeah, that's one that. Anguilla, I'm like sorry. Anguilla, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anguilla, I'm sorry. Please, I, I, I got, I got real nervous. So then I, then I started mispronouncing things. Yeah, the Anguilla, uh, we did item. <laughs> Anguilla, okay. All right. Anguilla, I'm sorry. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. I would have trouble um, pronouncing that too. So you're not alone. <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, Ian, you were saying something. No. I think that's okay. Great. All right. Uh, it's always uh, okay. I'm gonna click the leave button. <laughs> it's always we're uh, What do you do to close these out? But anyway. Okay. Oh, let me let me just ask since we're we've got a small group. Uh, I'm planning to post this to uh, to YouTube under the CC BY license. So does everybody consent to that? So we have yes. Yeah.
Great. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. All right. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye.